Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood makerspace librarian, back with another science short. And today, we are going to be looking at some of the magical properties of something really ordinary, water. All right, so this one's set up a little bit like a magic trick. If I pass this glass in front of the arrow, the arrow stays pointing the same direction. I am now going to take this glass filled with water and pass it in front of the arrow. But when I do that, the arrow looks like it has changed direction. So what is the magical property in water that lets that happen? It's a magical thing called refraction. And basically what that means is that light bends when it passes from one transparent thing to another. The first cup we use is just light going through air and the walls of the cup. But in the second cup, we have added water, which gives the light more things to bend through and causes the crossing that makes our images flip. Okay, so for this next bit, we're gonna to need to know a little bit about two words. And the first one is called cohesion. And all cohesion means is that water molecules are attracted to each other. So if you have a bunch of them, they will tend to stick together. The second word is very similar, adhesion. And all that means is that water molecules can also be attracted to molecules in other objects. So for being a liquid, water's kind of a sticky thing at the molecular level. So for this experiment, I have a piece of cotton string, which I have taped to the bottom of this jar, and a cup full of water. And what I'm gonna do is try to make the water follow this string down into the jar. So I wanna fill this jar with water from this cup along the path of this string. And thanks to adhesion, it should work, right? Well, unfortunately, as you can see here, gravity is stronger than adhesion. But if I take the string, a wet string, and try the same trick again, except this time I've got cohesion and adhesion working together, let's see if we can make it work. And this time, as you can see, the water, there we go, is going to follow the string right down. So the stickiness of water molecules together and the fact that water molecules like sticking to other things will make the water travel along this string at an angle, which is kind of cool, right? Even if I get it going, I can pour quite a bit of water out and it will still all stick together. Cool. And for our final trick, this one we're going to use a regular old plastic bag and some colored pencils. And you guessed it, water. So I have filled this bag almost to the top with water and sealed it. Now I'm going to poke holes in this bag. <laughs> Make sure to ask mom or dad before you try this experiment at home. So we'll open this up and these are pretty new so they've got pretty sharp points on the end. And what I am hoping is that cohesion, again, where water molecules are attracted to one another, will keep the water inside the bag because they'll stick together instead of the water running out. And as you can see, there is no water escaping from this bag, even though I have basically punctured it with this pencil. Part of the reason this works is because the plastic of the bag is pretty flexible and forms around the pencil, but there is still a little bit of a gap between the pencil and the plastic. It just so happens that it is small enough of a hole that cohesion can overcome it. And as you can see, even with six holes in there, my hand underneath still remains fairly dry. Pretty cool. I'll even give you a closer look here. So you can see how that plastic has formed. It's reform to kind of take the shape around that pencil that I've poked through. But there is still a bit of a gap there. It's just that cohesion is able to overcome it. All right, guys, thanks for following along. I hope to see you back next week for another science short.